Hello everybody, this is Miguel Valenzuela, the creator of PancakeBot, and this video is for beta testers that want to upload the latest firmware onto their PancakeBot. The latest firmware allows you to control the speed through the G-code and will increase your speed of the PancakeBot significantly. Now, in order to get started, you have to download the PancakeBot firmware zip file. You can find this at creativeperspective.com, which is K-E-R-K-R-E-A-T-I-V-P-E-R-S-P-E-K-T-I-V.com slash pbfw.html. Creative Perspective is written in Norwegian. When you go to this link, you'll notice that there is instructions here, plus a couple of screenshots of how to do the uh, firmware update. Go ahead and download the firmware update by clicking on the link right there. I've already downloaded and unzipped this on my computer, so I can go ahead and cancel out of this. Now that it's unzipped in my com on my computer desktop, I'm going to go ahead and open the folder and look inside. You'll notice that there's several things in here. Xloader, which is the software that we'll use to upload the firmware. The pbfirmwareupdate.hex, uh, which is the firmware for the, fi uh, for the bot the PL2302 driver installer. This is the USB driver to be able to communicate with your bot and a readme file. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is install the driver for the USB. Double click on this and allow your PC to make, your computer to make changes with the program and go ahead and install that. I'm gonna cancel out of that because I've already installed it on my computer. Once that is installed, the, you need to plug in your pancake bot to your computer and turn your pancake bot on. You'll hear the sound that the USB is connected. Go ahead and turn your pancake bot off. And now your pancake bot is no longer connected. Let's go into the xloader file and click on xloader.exe. In this uh, dialog box, you'll notice that there's several things. Here's a hex file. Uh, here's a device, the COM port, and the baud rate. The COM port's going to vary based on what comms you have on your computer. The first step is to find the hex file. So click the hex file link and find it wherever you stored it on your computer and open it up. The device needs to be the Atmega 2560. There's several devices here, and we'll pick the 2560. The baud rate needs to be 115200. The last is the COM port. We'll go ahead and turn the bot on. When you turn the bot on, press and hold the power button while you're doing this procedure. So now the bot is on and we're still holding the power button down. And notice COM3 allows us to pop up there. Now we'll click on upload and it gives us a message that it is uploading the file. This may take several seconds for us to upload the file and we're uploading all the data to the pancake bot. Once this is complete, go ahead and release the power button. And now the firmware has been updated. You can go ahead and close the X loader and close your boxes here. To test it out, go ahead and run a file and you'll notice that your pancake bot is a lot faster. At the bottom of the README file, I'll show you here, you'll notice that there is a section called how the speed is controlled. This talks about the G code in the .g code file of the pancake, uh, the pancake bot file that is created with the pancake painter. If you read through this and watch this video in the link here, this will take you to a video explaining how the G code works and how the speed works on the pancake bot. Thank you very much for listening to the firmware update. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email at pancakebot at gmail.com or support at pancakebot.com.